How to do cool bubbles in Blender with ease. Let's first have a round object. A UV sphere should do the trick. Right-click on it to smooth the shade, then you can set up any lighting for your scene. An easy one would be with HDRI skies, so add one if you have or get one online. They're widely available. You should also make sure that the Node Wrangler is on for the Node shortcuts, so do that. Because with it, I can just hit Ctrl-T to play with the sky rotation. Now let's add a material to the ball and delete the default principled BSDF. What we need for a bubble is reflectiveness and transparency shaders, so add a glossy BSDF for the reflections and make its roughness on low value, maybe less than 0.1. A transparent BSDF will be mixed with the glossy, so just hold Control shift and right mouse button to mix them fast and easy without visiting the Add menu. The mix factor is not shifting the two nodes. That's cause we are on EV, which is fine, but you need to make the material blend mode on alpha, which will fix it for you, so play with the factor to switch between the two nodes. Since we're making bubbles, no shadow casting is needed, so it's better to put the shadow mode on none. If you look around the ball now, you might see a line after turning on the alpha blend mode. You can lose that by checking the back face culling option, just some weird face calculation error in Blender. So one click, and it should be gone. The ball looks edgy since it's on the default subs. You can add a subsurface modifier on it, or smooth it from the start. Anyway, the main thing we need to do is control the factor for both the reflective and transmission parts. You can go with a Fresnel node or a layer weight on facing, not that much difference between the two, and you can experiment with it. Pressing Control Shift and Left Mouse button on any node to view it, so you can adjust it clearly and see its effect. Switching the nodes in the mix will flip the effect in the factor, so pay attention to that. You add a color ramp to control the layer weight node, or a map range if you don't like the color ramp, and just play with their values. What remains are some colors on this bubble, and we can add that in the glossy colors with three nodes. One is the noise texture. We also need the object texture coordinate into the noise vector, and a hue saturation node to boost the colors as we like. So lay them down as shown on screen, and play with the saturation and value, which is the brightness. Something around 1.2 or 1.5 for the saturation should boost the colors for a nice look, and you can double the brightness if you feel the bubble a bit dark. You can set the render here, turn on the bloom at a low value, maybe play with the hue number, but if you want to copy this a lot or do animations like particles or simulations, you should go with a meta ball. This cool and super underrated object will behave really realistically with fluids or, in our case, bubbles. Because if two metaball objects collide, then they will join in a cool way. So do your thing with it. It's all for fun. And that's it. Remember to like and share if you have hair. Until the next one, stay sharp. Goodbye.